Good evening, everyone from Tampa Bay, Florida. We have Bush Gardens, and it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Town. And people without masks. Well, we've made it inside Bush Gardens. Our glasses are fogged up. Yep. <laughs> We're gonna get our Christmas on. We're gonna take you along with us. Santa's meet and greet. And Rudolph's meet and greet. First thing you see when you come in the park, merchandise. Team Santa. Don't stop believing. Bumble pajamas. Bumble's Christmas trees. So many photo ops. After the official POV video was released by Bush Gardens about two, three weeks ago, I was hoping that maybe we'd get like an early Christmas present from the park and the ride would open early. It's like Iron Gwazi is right under this Christmas tree. It's so close. Hashtag soon. Christmas lights during golden hour. Check out these sloth prizes. Here with a captive audience, brick after brick. Who put the lid on the rim? Let's take a gander. Christmas Town Village, ice skating, fireworks. Christmas Town is loaded with people as they cough walking past us. Mulled wine and churro bites, brownie s'mores. Mini donuts, pumpkin spice loaf, chicken and waffles, beef sliders, and beer cheese soup. Photo ops. Look at these arrogant reindeer. Just putting their noses up to everybody here. They must be fans of Epcot's food and wine festivals. We've got the field open here tonight for ice skating as well as fireworks viewing. Heading to a very furry Christmas. Sesame Street. Christmas! We have missed selfie time for Sesame Street characters. Here is the schedule. Cinnamon roll flatbread. All right, the lines have been ridiculous and unorganized so far. We're gonna try our hands over in the Coca-Cola area. One thing that I do love about Christmas Town at Bush Gardens every year is that they have these holiday themed moldomatics. You've got Santa and you have Frosty. Four bucks a piece. Easy souvenir. This giant line is to meet Santa Claus. And there's different photo packages. This is the brownie explosion from Coke. And this is a frozen hot chocolate with Kahlua. That straw is chocolate. Ooh. Chocolate straws for chocolate cows on a chocolate farm. This is amazing. And by the way, I ate the top of the straw right away. <laughs> I bit the tip off. <laughs> the brownie is amazing as well. Oh, it's the Queen Setter Princess. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! How are you? We're here at Bush Gardens. Good! Christmas birds! What? Yeah. Ooh, look at the lights now. Mr. and Mrs. Claus walking behind Mary back there. Heading back to Sesame Street. If you're coming to this show, you should know there are way more people that are in line than there are seats. So you're gonna want to get here early. Merry Christmas, everybody! Welcome to Elmo's Christmas Wish! Yay! My name is Lily, and I just want to thank you all for wearing your masks over your nose and your mouth at all times, unless you're actively eating and drinking. Wonderful job, you guys. Also, thank you for keeping a six feet of distance between you and the party next to you or in front of you. Woohoo! We're always a bunch of fun to get your kids together.
He wants to wish on Christmas star too. Christmas wish. It's like a general admission Metallica concert over here. People are literally going under the ropes and trying to sneak in right while ops are right there in front of them. The people that are trying to watch from behind the gate like we did, we didn't want to take up seats and block little kids from not being able to get in the show. But in turn, the people that came late, not wearing masks and standing right on top of each other. COVID does not exist in Sesame Street, apparently. So pretty, so pretty. Now we're gonna move on from Elmo to Christmas on Ice. The last time we were in this field was for fiends at Hollow Scream. We have got snacks and knickknacks and cocktails for sale. And this is crazy packed here. I got a frozen Jack and Coke. And Mary got a red Santa Gria. And this is our view. We did the VIP thing again. VIP is normally $20 and includes a seat for this and seating for the fireworks. It also includes one free beverage, any beverage that they have on the menu. And if you have an annual pass, it's even cheaper. So it was $34 for the two of us. And the beverages end up being more than $10 a piece too. I think they're about $11 each. So you're essentially paying like six bucks a person to be able to sit in the VIP area if you have an annual pass. This is absolutely amazing, by the way. And that strawberry straw that I stole out of Mary's drink is the perfect compliment. See, this is after the early skating show also. This isn't the big sold out show later in the night. Keep this crowd in mind if you are coming out to Christmas Town. Hey everybody. Enjoy a Coke and a ho ho ho. Check out these trees. Iron lit up in red and green Christmas colors. All I want for Christmas is Guazi. Just magical. Oh, this is my friend Blizzard. Blizzard, it's, it's Frosty. I'm sorry, Paul and Jen. This is the real Frosty. You tell them. This is what happens when you leave a child unattended. Pretty light. Also, check out this menorah. Happy Hanukkah to our Cheap Seats Nation. It's eight crazy nights. We've even decorated the alligator area. 
Wow. Look at all those birds in the tree. Those are not decorations. Holy cow. Wow, look at how pretty this is. Outside the Moroccan Palace Theater. This is where Dia de las Muertes normally is for Hollow Scream. Cheetah hunt in the background. But this is so pretty. Welcome to Penguin Point. There's some penguins. Is that Puck? Real penguins. I love you guys, but you smell so bad. So bad. Hello, penguin. Wants to come home with me. I'm like Dr. Doolittle. There's the amazing Christmas train. It's coming in the station, the Holly Jolly Express. And we're gonna wait online for it. Uh, half an hour later, it's back. Guys, miss the talking kitty though. We're gonna sit in the dark to eat this bad boy. Mm -hmm. Mary's gonna eat the pickle first because those are disgusting. <laughs> Let's try this bad boy out. Before I give you the review, how about another hand for holiday iron glossy? <laughs> the sandwich, uh, it's almost like it, the meat, the cheese, it's rock hard. The bread is nice and soft though. You know, ironically, the bread is supposed to be kind of the harder type bread, but everything else is hard. 
Just gotta be honest, that was a swing and a miss. I'm usually super big, super high on Bush Gardens food and wine stuff, but that was not very good. <laughs> Next up, beer cheese soup with pretzel croutons. Fireworks started. This is the beer cheese soup. It's good. I would have preferred it without the sour cream and maybe more pretzels. That's the fireworks. Next up is a pulled pork slider. How is it? Actually very good. I noticed that there's barely any sauce. Is that good? Yes. It's actually very good. So in COVID times, there are multiple people to wait at the line. Well, there's food just right there. And cleaning products right next to it. basically just using a chin strap. It's almost out, it's almost out. Yeah. Anybody breaking out mac and cheese? No onion. This is the cinnamon flatbread. Let me just say for the most part the stands for food have been fairly uh, sanitized or well looking. The woman working at this particular stand is an unmitigated disaster. The food is out so that anybody could potentially be breathing or coughing on it. The woman in all reality is not even wearing a mask. She's just got it down below and also spraying cleaning products right next to the food that's sitting out there. Bush Gardens hates Mary Poppins. Ten minutes to close. Bush Gardens has become very quiet. Now we're heading out. Bush Gardens has the projections going like they do at Hollow Stream. Goodbye, Christmas tree. Now you can wait an hour for a tram. We'll walk a mile back to the car. What do you do? Good lord, this is like a Lord of the Rings quest, but I can see the van all the way over there. This looks like where the garbage goes. We're getting closer. Well, we're back to the van. Uh, we're actually staying about a mile up the road um, at uh, Hilton Home Suites for the night because we're gonna go to the Buccaneers game tomorrow. Um, but uh, Bush Gardens, <laughs> I usually like the Christmas event. We did have fun. I enjoy being out yeah. with uh, Mary, but as far as safety goes, there is an awful lot of people at the park, um, there's an awful lot of people not adhering to safety guidelines. There's not enough staff to enforce anything whatsoever. No. Um, so, um, as far as uh, you know, other than trying to load you into things like the train and, and stuff and distance you, um, there's nobody around to enforce um, anything. Spacing. And then you see, like you know, even at some of the places, like employees just not adhering to any of the safety guidelines as well. So. Um, as far, you know, we continually keep saying as far as the parks go, who's at the top, who's at the bottom for safety, mm -hmm. and still think Universal does the best job within the theme parks to oh, yeah. um, ensure that people are wearing masks and distancing and stuff like that, and cleaning things. Um, but Busch Gardens, even relative to its sister park uh, with SeaWorld, I'd say is a, a few notches below what SeaWorld even does to enforce things. It's just kind of like the Wild West here. So um, you know, the only yeah, thing I, that I did see that was decent was during the Sesame Street show. The guy was walking up and down the aisles telling people 
Yeah. Every row, put your mask up, put your mask up, put your mask up. But then just kind of like, after the one time, it's just kind of like give up type thing. Yeah. And, you know. But I don't understand why people have to be told to put their mask up. Yeah. I mean, literally, um, Florida at this point is, uh, you know, swimming in 11,000 cases a day. So, Mm -hmm. um, you know. I don't know. It is what it is. So, in any event, are we going to get out of here? Mm Hmm. Um, this time I think this for real does it for us for Christmas type events. I think we may squeeze in another Disney park at next week, but um, Oh, we might maybe. do something scary Christmas. Oh yeah, we do have like a Krampus type event I think that we may be able to get to yeah. um, next week. Uh, but that's about it. So thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Um, thanks for the folks that said hello to us in oh, the yeah. park as well <laughs> today. And... Uh, Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys. Bye.